When it comes to a career in the sciences, men still tend to outnumber women. But a program at Northwestern is telling young women that engineering could be the right field for them. They just have to find out what it's all about. Good morning. Good morning. Early on a Saturday morning, the program begins. My name is Ellen Warsdahl. I'm one of the assistant deans here in the McCormick School of Engineering. And it is my honor and my pleasure to welcome you to the 39th annual Career Day for Girls. Assistant Dean Ellen Warsdahl is starting a busy day. Nearly 300 students have come to Northwestern for a day of exploration. It's okay, we're moving. A day of explosion. And a day of enthusiasm for engineering. It is called the Career Day for Girls. They come with friends, teachers, and parents, a mix of middle and high schoolers, all taking part in a tradition now 40 years old. This is Northwestern's way of welcoming young women to science. The purpose is to give them exposure, and we want to get them excited about engineering and to have them start thinking about seeing themselves as a female engineer. The purpose is also to level the playing field. Consider that nationwide, only 14% of engineers are women. At Northwestern, 30% of engineering undergrads are female, more than twice the national average. The goal is to do even better. Women simply need to be at the table as leaders and as team members and as idea generators and as executors, people who make things happen. To help make things happen, every visitor tours the labs, a way to explore the varied world of engineering. Is Emily here? Okay. Megan Glynn is a Northwestern engineering student and tour guide. So if you have any questions, just while we're walking, you could talk to me. It's no big deal. I think it's so empowering. I really like that you could see all these girls in one place all trying to be the same thing. You're trying to go into one field. One of those girls is Allie Jones. She's a high school sophomore from the Chicago suburbs, visiting with her younger sister, Ashland. I really like engineering because I like, like playing with different stuff and figuring out different ways to make something work. It makes me feel good because in my area there's not a lot of girls who do it. It's mostly like my guy friends that want to do engineering. Coming here and seeing a bunch of girls, it's like I can make more girlfriends that have the same interests as I do. In this environmental engineering lab, students are looking at bacteria. I didn't think that engineering would be so much fun. All this stuff is like, oh my god, the colors. Like, the little bacteria have so many colors. <laughs> Michelle Jimenez and Nieli Garcia, also from Chicago, are making connections between biology and environmental engineering. You don't see it every day at school. We were learning other stuff, and you didn't think engineering was all of this. Emily Scott is seriously thinking about becoming an engineer. It matters to her that more women are considering the same thing. Knowing that there is a bunch of other people out there who are interested in the same things you are is pretty, like, makes you feel better. Computer science is another stop. Even though it's kind of a silly, simple game, it teaches us kind of some interesting patterns that actually happen in the real world. Two graduate students are helping students write programs and understand computerized engineering models. I like the simple steps because it kind of breaks it down for you. And so when you break it down into simple steps, it makes it clearer for people to understand. The young women coming are already interested in this, so kind of getting them to really see what it looks like for just normal graduate students to be able to study this stuff and talk about it with them is exciting. Speaking of excitement, the tour hits a high point at Eberhard Zwergel's chemistry lab. And now, if you have steam, when you go back to water, see what happens. Better known as Eberhard's show, this is a dazzling display of chemical engineering in action. Liquids are reacting, gases are exploding, and lots of stuff is on fire. And just to make sure this is entertaining, the professor has accompaniment, a live rock band. I feel like they get the uh, flair of excitement, what science can do, I think. How chemical reactions work for fun. Not that I say it's always fun, I mean, it's dangerous, but I think they, get, they will not forget it. Learning about the different types and what reacts and what doesn't react, and learning about that would seem like a good experience. Betsy Missimer is a Northwestern alum. She brought her daughter all the way from their home in Texas to be part of Career Day. 
the marketplace is so tough for these kids when they graduate to even be able to get a job, and it just seems like there's so many opportunities in engineering, and getting a degree from here, an engineering degree, and being a woman, I mean, it sounds like a lot of doors would be open to you. In the end, Career Day for Girls opens up a world of science. The students that get this exposure to engineering and then go on to pursue it, they come back and the careers paths that they've had and the experiences they've had are just absolutely amazing. And it tells them as they pursue college and a career, engineering is a real choice, a field that very much needs the perspective of women.